Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at how we would find functions using integration. So we can answer questions from exercise 13c. Now what I mean by this is previously we worked out the integral of the gradient function was equal to the great was equal to the original function plus c. And we never really worked out what that plus c was. Now what we're going to do in this video here is working out what that plus c is. So for example, if we've got the gradient function is equal to 2x, then we know that the function is equal to x squared plus c, but we don't know what plus c that could be. Imagine it was a 1 or a minus 5, then it could either be this or this. It could be this function here or this function here, two completely different functions. So what we want to do in this video here is given the, um, given the gradient function and something else in for the question, I work out what C value this needs to be. Now what we're going to need here is a extra little piece of information so we can help us work out what uh, that value C is. And the extra piece of information we need to know is if we know a coordinate that's on the curve, we can identify the exact curve that we're looking for here. So we'll just take whatever curve that we need and just to move it up and down, which is effectively what we're doing when we're adding on C or subtracting a number, um, so to position it into a position where um, it's, uh, it goes through that coordinate. So let's go through a question here then. So the curve X with the equation Y equals F of X passes through the point 215 and it has a gradient function here of 5x squared plus 3x. And we want to find the equation of x. So the first thing we'll need to do here is integrate our gradient function. And this is going to be increase the power by 1 divided by the new power plus the c in both cases here. Now what we know is for the original function that when we plugged in the number 2 into our f function, we got the answer of 15 out again. That's the definition of a coordinate effectively. 2 into the function as the x value and you get your y coordinate out which is 15. So what we can do now is substitute in the values of 2 and 15. 2 goes in the x position and 15 goes in the y coordinate or the function of x position. And now we work out, and the c, you see here this plus c is just lingering on at the end. And we need to work out what that value is. So c here is eventually going to end up as minus 4 and a third. So here we can now work out the original function before we differentiated, which was 5x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 minus 4 and a third. Okay, so a little bit of a two-step process here. We integrated first, and then we substituted in our coordinate to work out what c was. Okay, another little tricky question here. So we have the gradient function here is x squared minus 2 over root x, and it goes through the point 4, 5. So two-step process again. Integrate your function, and then substitute in your coordinate. So the first thing we'll have to do when we're integrating this is split up our fraction into two separate uh, numerators. Rewrite this as x to the power of n and then integrate. So increase the power by 1 divided by the new power. So it would be x to the power of 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 or in other words times by 2 over 5. And then it's going to be 2x to the power of half divided by that new, that new power of a half. And we'll rewrite this as 2 fifths of x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 4 x to the power of a half plus c. So that's the integration part of the question. That's the first part that we need. So now our original function is going to look something like this here. 2 fifths x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 4 x to the half plus c. And now what we need to do is find c by plugging in the 4 and 5 coordinate. So substitute those in, and luckily the square root of 4 is a whole number, so that will give us 2. So here we're going to get c is equal to 0 0.2 or 1 fifth. 
Okay, so now what's left for us to do is just bung this on at the end of the function, replacing it with the value c. It's a bit like when you do y equals mx plus c. It's effectively the same thing. 2 fifths x to the power 5 over 2 minus 4x to the half plus a fifth. Okay, so two-step process, integration, and then substituting in a coordinate. Right, it's your turn to have a go at these couple of questions, then pause the video and try these out. Right, okay, let's have a go at question 1a. So the first thing we need to do here is if we're given dy by dx, we can work out y by integrating. So this is going to be x cubed plus x squared, increasing power by 1, divided by new power, uh, plus c. And we're also told it goes through the coordinate of 2, 10. So in this case here, we plug 10 into the y coordinate and 2 into the x coordinate. And we plus c. And then we work out that c here needs to be minus 2. So our final answer here is going to be x cubed plus x squared minus 2. Okay, question 4 here, given that a uh, function passes through minus 1, 0. Uh, given that this is our gradient function, find f of x. So f of x here, the first part we need is to integrate. So this is going to be 3x cubed uh, plus 2x squared minus 3x plus c. Now what's left for us to do is to substitute in the value of minus 1 and 0. So 0 equals minus 3 plus 2 plus 3 for the double negatives that appear here, plus c. So that will cancel, that will cancel, so c is minus 2. So here our final answer is going to be f of x equals 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus the 2. Okay, so there we are, that's your final answer to question 4. Right, uh, make sure you have a, lots of goes at questions from exercise 13c. Um, make sure you can do this uh, quite easily. It should, should be too, um, shouldn't be too taxing. Um, but do persevere through the difficult questions and ask your teacher for help if you need any help. Right, thanks very much for watching.